This section describes DJI D12000IE and D6000I multifunctional inverter generators, which can be used after a simple installation and activation. Firstly, remove the original supporting legs. For initial installation, remove the four supporting legs originally from the factory. Secondly, install the supporting legs on both sides. Snap one support leg into the bottom bracket of the generator. Align with the empty space of the bracket, insert two M8 bolts, and use the 8x10 wrench and 10x13 wrench included in the package to tighten the nuts. Fix the other leg with the same method. Thirdly, install the two wheels. Pass the wheel pin through the hole in the center of the wheel. Then insert it into the bracket hole at the bottom of the generator and insert the fixing pin. Install the wheel on the other side in the same way. Fourthly, install the handles. Place the handle with a hole near the bracket hole on the upper side of the generator. Insert a M10 bolt and fix it with the 8x10 wrench and 10x13 wrench. Install the handle on the other side in the same way. Preparation before first use. Firstly, add the designated special engine oil before use. Oil model SJ10W40. Secondly, open the oil port and use a funnel to add oil to the generator. The oil filling amount of different types of generators is different. The D12000IE RT version adds 1.1 liter and D6000I 0.8 liter. Thirdly, open the fuel tank cap and add no less than one liter of the gasoline, which instructed in the product manual, but not too full. Activate generator. Firstly, use Type-C data cable to connect the remote controller and the generator. Then click device management on the remote controller. Click charging device and click activate charging device. Thirdly, unplug the data cable. Quick start of generator. Firstly, connect T40 or T30 or T20P smart battery to the charging device. Secondly, short press and long press to turn on the smart battery power. Thirdly, press the main switch of the generator to start position for at least 3 seconds and release it. Let the main switch automatically bounce back to run position and the generator will start automatically. After starting, the generator starts to charge the battery. During the charging process, the four LED lights of the battery flash in sequence. It is fully charged when the four LED lights are all on or all off. Directly disconnect the battery charging cable and then charge the other battery. Or turn off the main switch. Notes on the use of generator. Number one, pay attention to the high temperature of the exhaust port. After a period of use, the temperature at the exhaust port and its surroundings is very high. Random touch can cause burns. Number two, do not use the generator indoors. The exhaust gas contains carbon monoxide and excessive inhalation is fatal if the indoor space is closed. Number three, do not add diesel fuel to the fuel tank, but only the gasoline instructed in the manual. Using ethanol gasoline will increase fuel consumption. Number four, gasoline is flammable and explosive. It must be placed away from heat and fire sources to prevent fires. Number five, before refill gasoline, turn off the generator and make it cool down for a few minutes. Number six, start the generator only in dry places and keep away from moisture, rain, snow, and standing water. Number seven, it is forbidden to directly connect the generator with the building electrical system, and the reverse transmission of electricity to the main system may cause electric shocks to the electrical workers in the city or damage the equipment. Number eight, before starting the generator each time, the engine oil quantity must be checked to ensure that it is within the scale of the oil dipstick.